Hi Capricorn, welcome to your end of November love tower reading. So Capricorn, we're looking at whatever you need to know, whatever needs to come out at this time regarding either your love life or love situation. So we'll see what's going on for you. So please do keep that in mind. All right, Capricorn, we have the magical mermaids and dolphins here. So I'm going to do your opening messages with this deck and then we'll jump into your tower reading. All right, Capricorn, let's see what we have for you. Welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. If you are new or returning, welcome in, welcome in, and thank you. My name is Mary, and this is Sunlight Insight Tower. Oh, we've got all jumpers here. All right, Capricorn, end of November, love tower reading. FYI, after this series, I'll be doing a bonus reading this month, since there's some extra time in the month. Uh, it'll be too early to start the December reading, so I'm going to throw in a November bonus love reading. So keep an eye out for that. All right, Capricorn, end of November love tower reading. Let's see what we have for you. Morning affirmations. Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. Have faith. Your prayers are manifesting. Remain positive and follow your guidance. Soulmate relationship, new, rom new romance with a spiritual basis here for you now. In alchemy, you have the Midas touch right now and every project you begin turns to gold. I feel like here that you're um, trying to manifest a soulmate relationship. So you may be, I'm feeling this morning affirmations is more like manifestation and it's telling you to keep having faith. So I don't know if this is someone that you're interested in. Or you're just trying to manifest love into your life. It could be either or or both. Um, so we'll see. But it looks like something's aligning. You're manifesting it. Don't give up. Have faith. Even if you don't see it happening yet, there is a soulmate relationship. Either you're wanting or it's coming in for you uh, very soon. So let's see, Capricorn. Let us see... You know, I use this uh, mermaid deck quite often to do love readings, and I hardly ever get the soulmate card. I think I've gotten it three times already uh, in the readings that I'm doing, so which is pretty awesome. But anyway, so Capricorn, we have a celestial tarot here, so I'm going to use this deck for your reading. And then to close it out, we have the Spirit of the Animals Oracle cards, and I'll pull some of those for you as well. All right, Capricorn, end of November. The jumpers are ready. Love Tower reading. Let's see. Queen of Cups. Well, that's about falling in love. Queen of Swords. Well, it could be same sex for some. Let's see. Ace of Cups reverse. I don't think it's happened yet. I don't think it's happened yet, but let's see. Ten of Cups. So this is going to be a very fulfilling relationship connection. It just hasn't happened or started yet. So I'm still not sure if this is someone totally new. Or if this is someone that you're longing to have a relationship with, but we'll see. The moon could be, you know, not seeing things clearly, but the four of wands is solid foundation. That could be commitment marriage. I mean, some of you could be moving, relocating. Um, queen of cups and the queen of swords. I mean, that's falling in love, truth, clarity. Somebody here could be divorced. Uh, maybe you've been divorced in the past, or maybe you know this person is divorced. doesn't have to be, though. But this also could be somebody that works in um, law enforcement. could also be military, uh, medical, education, communications as well. Moon, something that we can't see. So it's a little either fear or not seeing the path clearly as to when this Ten of Cups is going to happen. The start has to happen first to get to the Ten of Cups. So I'm just feeling like it hasn't come in yet or it hasn't started yet. So we still got to find out, is this new or is this someone that you're manifesting? All right, so we have Cancer, Libra, Pisces. All right. All right. All right, Capricorn. So tell me more about this. Is this someone that... Capricorn is manifesting or is this new love? Please tell me, please tell me, what is this about for Capricorn? What do you need to know? Let's see. 
this also could be someone that is, you know, has love but need, and needs to speak the truth to get this started. I mean, that could be it too. So let's see. Page of Cups. Well, there could be the romantic gesture, the sun, the enlightenment. You got the sun and the moon, masculine, feminine energy. Um, okay. Five of Swords reversed. I don't see anything bad around this. There's a soulmate alignment with the Temperance card, and you have the soulmate relationship right here with the alchemy, which is the Temperance card. Two of Pentacles reverse. So balance, knowing what we want. And the five of wands that was some sort of challenge or conflict. So, I mean, maybe this is a current connection, but there's a challenge block or conflict in the way, and you're trying to manifest this to come together soon. It could be that as well. We do have that page of cups, which is, you know, could be apology, confession of love, romantic, sincere gesture. Sun is the happiest card in the deck. Growth, luck, expansion, healing, love, light, peace, harmony, joy. Five of swords reversed. No negative energies. I like that. Soulmate alignment, patience, healing, balance. Not being on the fence, knowing what we want, but yet there's a challenge in the way. Okay, so that kind of took a turn. All right, so we have Pisces, Leo, Sag. It's almost like somebody wants to come in with this loving gesture, romance, bringing it to light, very right? enlightening energy. But there has to be the energy of something aligning where there's no conflict. Because I feel right now there is a challenge or a block or a conflict in a way. But we definitely know what we want. Okay. All right. Well, that took a turn. All right. Uh, Capricorn. Let's see. What else do we need to know about this? What else do we need to know about this for Capricorn? What else do we need to know about this for Capricorn, please? Let's see. What else do we need to know for Capricorn? Okay. Knight of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords. Wow. So that's strength overcoming. I like that. That's overcoming. Four of Swords. A lot of healing, thinking about this ace of swords truth clarity communication a new beginning two of swords this could be a decision being made it could this could be about a decision or something where we're waiting for a decision to be made for this to finally come together i definitely feel like there's a halt on a love connection right now but something unexpectedly may resolve or a decision or something comes to light. Ace of Swords. The strong connection is here, overcoming this. There's been a lot of just thinking, not a lot of action being taken, holding back our energy because of this. I don't know what this means. So it could be different for everybody. Something's happening here and now um, there's the overcoming and there's no no longer that energy of needing or having to hold back from each other. And I think you're manifesting this to happen, finally, for this to line up, come together with the soulmate. If that makes sense for you, Capricorn. All right, so we have Scorpio. We are in Scorpio season right now. Aquarius, Leo. All right, Capricorn, let's see what else we need to know. What else do we need to know? Capricorn, what else do we need to know? Capricorn, please, about this energy. Truth, clarity comes in or something comes to light or something happens. And now uh, things can move forward. That's what I see here. Strong connection cannot be denied. Judgment in reverse. Final judgment. Final judgment. I was just thinking of the judgment card when I was looking at the two of swords. I'm like, that would resonate with the judgment card. I didn't say it. And so spirit's like, well, I'm here. We're going to give it to you. I, I never learn. <laughs> but anyway, judgment reverse. That's like the final judgment, final verdict. That could be something is here. 
and now lovers could be together. Oh my goodness. Ace of Pentacles, solid new beginning. Seven of Wands reversed. There's the block being lifted. Open, vulnerable, no more challenge. Tower, the big, big change is here. It's now. It's sudden. And the new beginning can happen. Wow. Okay. Whatever the block was to this, I see it going away. The final verdict, judgment's in. Whatever that means. Lovers could be together. The solid new beginning. Open, vulnerable, block, challenge, lifted. Big change is here. Sudden, abrupt, maybe shocking or surprising. And now the manifesting new, new beginning is right here. Okay. Scorpio, again, like I said, we are in Scorpio season. Gemini, Aries, Gemini, Virgo. There's that soul connection. It's a very strong connection. The lovers and uh, strength, actually. All right, Capricorn. Okay, we're going to do one more row with clarifiers. See what else we need to know. But if it does resonate, please do like, comment. All the good things would be greatly appreciated. I also feel like the sun, too, is a lot of things coming to light. Could be part of this, which brings in a faster resolution to this for this to finally come together. If that makes sense. All right. Okay. So I feel like that Ace of Cups is here just ready to happen. It's just there's something that had to be, um, had to happen first for this block or challenge to be lifted for two people to come together. All right. Capricorn, one more roll of clarifiers. See what else we need to know. Tell me more about this with, uh, for Capricorn. The hangman, yeah, things have been in limbo. Nine of Wands definitely has been a struggle and a challenge. Knight of Wands reverse and wanting to take action but can't. The star, so there's what we wish for. Balance, healing, divinely guided energy, things meant to be, a wish dream come true. Hope, faith, optimism. Faith right there. King of Pentacles reverse. This could be about somebody getting divorced. Because the King of Pentacles reversed, for me, is somebody who could have been in a, another situation who is now possibly divorced out of that situation. So that could be something as well with the King of Pentacles reversed and the Hermit reversed. So this is about coming out of hiding, coming out of having to retract from this energy. Now can come forward. Two cards of Virgo here, Aquarius, Sag, Pisces. I don't think we pulled any Capricorn energy here. So this may not be about you. This could be about the other person. Situation. I think things are going to start taking off now between you and your person. I see something being resolved suddenly and now the two of you can be together. Let's see what else do we need to know. Well, there you are, Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles. The Emperor reversed. So, yeah, I think this was about the other person. So, if the other person is a masculine and females can be masculine. So, yeah, they had to sort out their situation. That's why the Emperor's reversed. Eight of Cups probably could be at a distance. But we do have success victory here being completed. Now things taking off. Eight of Wands, travel, action, movement, Cupid's arrows. Yeah, completion again with the Ten of Wands and ending. That you may not know, something we don't see coming either with the High Priestess. Um, this ending sooner than we think. Now we're at the crossroads. A new path can be taken. Two of Wands. Mm -hmm. Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work. This can work now because there's been an ending. Ten of Swords. King of Wands reverse. Yeah, someone couldn't take the lead before. Couldn't return because of a situation. But now there's been an energetic reset. Fresh, clean, slight start. No baggage. New beginning and a leap of faith. Wow. And we do have the world reverse. I always take that sometimes as someone returning. Wow. Capricorn, it looks like you and your person are finally going to be able to come together and get this relationship started. All right. 
Okay, Capricorn. So let's get some. We do have the tower here, so this could be like right now, anytime now. It's what you've been man manifesting, hoping for, right? Star here. There's the alignment too. Star is alignment as well as the temperance card. All right. So let's see here, Capricorn. Let's get some wisdom of the animals, spirit of the animals. Let's see what else you need to know. But everything you do need to know is down below in the description box. Please check that out for everything you need. All right, Capricorn, spirit of the animals. What do we need to know? Raccoon inventor. Decide on what you really want. You have the integrity to claim it. Avoid being the trickster and practice integrity. You have many roles and can juggle them well. So this is about doing the right thing and not straying into temptation or anything like that. So that's what I get with that. Let's, okay. Cougar, assertive. In silence, you find power, claim your leadership role and take action. You know where to go and what to do. You have the courage and confidence to succeed. This is like uh, emperor energy. So someone now can be assertive and uh, go after what they want. Someone has their power back. Exactly. Squirrel, always prepared. This has been coming out a lot. You are the expert of hard work and hard play. Your cheerful and fir uh, fun disposition is a blessing to everyone. Don't let life's distractions take you off course. Make a plan for the future and life will give you all you need. So yeah, you're going to be planning a future with this person. I definitely see that. Eagle Mastery. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. I do see here um, underneath that we have otter happiness. So yeah, so happy days are coming. Happy outcome with you and your person. This is like a spiritual, mastering the spiritual lesson of doing the right thing, not giving into temptation, um, and knowing that your intuition and your manifestation is going to bring this together, and just being patient with the energy. And I think now it's happening quicker than expected, to be honest. All right, Capricorn, that's what I have for you. So I do hope that helped that resonated. Again, everything you need, do need to know is down below. I am wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.